Welcome back to Cheddar, everyone. We all know about and have likely used a car rental service before, but have you ever used a re an RV rental company, rather? Well, it is becoming more popular during the coronavirus pandemic as less people travel by plane. RV Share announcing last week it has raised over $100 million to fund and capitalize the opportunity that they are seeing in front of them. And joining us now is John Gray, CEO of RV Share. Okay, John, it's good to have you on the show. Let's just break this down for folks. How does RV Share work for those who don't already know and what has the demand to look like for the business? Sure, thanks for having me on, Brad. So RV Share works very similarly to a VRBO or an Airbnb do for homes where we connect people who are looking to go on an RV trip with people who have an RV and are looking to turn it into a second source of income. This year, um, you know, RVs have had some wonderful benefits about them. They allow you to take a bathroom and, and bedroom and kitchen with you. But this year, kind of cast in the light of a pandemic, everybody wants to get outside. They want to go do something, typically domestic travel, typically drive to travel. And that's benefited us very well. And we've seen massive growth over this summer. Okay, and so as you're watching very closely to see how many people perhaps take back to the skies uh, over the past couple months, what are you seeing in the trends in, in air travel versus the demand that you're seeing on the RV rental side? How do you compare and contrast? And, and given that we are not at full capacity on the air travel side, what do you think that that will mean for the RV rental business when we eventually do get back there, Boeing saying it'll be three years out from now, which, which gives you some time uh, to build up business even more. So, so we watch TSA th throughput a lot to understand how many people are flying on planes because we do think we're a better option when people aren't flying on planes. We, we actually did a lot of business this year as a replacement for people who might have taken plane trips in the past. But what we've seen this summer is that we're really serving as a replacement for you know cruise trips, for trips to Europe and, and things like that, which I, I agree that those aren't going to be back for a little while. But the other thing that we've done over the course of this summer is become a topic of conversation in, in press and in just conversations about travel. And I think that has really fast forwarded awareness and usage in our category by about five years. So I think what will happen following the pandemic is that, you know, when people want to go camping, you know, our biggest competition right now is people going camping and sleeping in a tent. 40 million Ameri American households go camping each year. Very few of them go in an RV. And an RV allows you to bring a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bed with you. So we see a lot of different ways that we can grow. We see RV travel as a mainstream category of travel. And, and we believe that you know we've just made more people aware of that over the course of the pandemic. I consider my parents to be far more tech savvy than me. They, because of that, that I give them that, you know, kind of uh, credibility that I give them on all things tech. I also give them that on all things travel as well. And they actually have made multiple trips via RV. They rave about the, uh, the experiences. And so as I think about getting some of the younger consumers into the RV experience as well, how have you gone across different demographics and really kind of spread the word about this particular model, this particular experience? Sure, I think the biggest thing is that trips that are booked through RV Share have a very high satisfaction rating. And typically when you're satisfied with a trip, you tell your friends about it. That's the, the best way to grow. And, and our typical demographic has been nuclear families where a couple of parents are traveling with kids. And that demographic has grown over the summer throughout, and it's, it still remains our biggest demographic. But we've also seen younger people booking, and what has driven most of that is flexibility and work from anywhere. So many companies are allowing people to now work from wherever they want that people are, are choosing to do that from the road. You're seeing the same with remote education, and, and parents are taking their kids on, on trips and, and able to do their education from the road as well. So that's something that we think is a long-term tailwind where you know the, the workplace becomes a bit more flexible and allows people to, to be a bit more flexible with their travel as well. Okay, and just a so rapid fire here, John, um, the business right now, your company has just raised over $100 million. Congratulations on that. Where do you intend you. to uh, really spread that across the business in terms of an investment to help grow the company? And, and who owns the RVs? Is it the company itself? And what is the upkeep model like? 
Okay, so the first question, we're going, we're planning to spend more money as we go forward on marketing the business and on evolving our product. You know, anytime you are in a business where it's a, a category that doesn't have a tremendous amount of awareness yet, you, you want to get out and market the business. So we're going to be doing a lot more of that. Um, and then, you know, the, the other thing I would say is on the RVs, the RVs are owned by individuals who are looking to turn them into a second source of income. Uh, we don't own any RVs. We just help you book them as an owner. And we help you book them by marketing them through our website and, and getting people to, to come to the website who want to go on an RV trip, get to see a great selection and, and make a, a wonderful choice on an RV that'll help them have a great trip. John, I want to continue this conversation in the future. Congratulations, though, on this most recent round of funding. John Gray, CEO of RV Share. We got to we got to take advantage of this. Do this sometime.